hello out there! Welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie, and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. I have an unboxing today. <clears throat> I'm kind of excited about it because it's something unique. I got it from Amazon, and one reason other than the design of this diamond painting that I bought it. Let me show it to you and see if you can guess why. Here it is. It's in a tube and not just a regular tube. This is a reinforced. I mean, this is some thick, thick quality cardboard. I mean, <laughs> look at this thing. It's beautiful. So I'll tell you a little bit about it. I don't have it in my book because it, it came so quickly. And when I saw it, I, I had to show you guys. So it came in a box and I haven't opened it yet. I mean, it is, this tip here is, uh, this is how it came, but I haven't done that. I didn't do that. I haven't looked. I ordered it on February 17th and it arrived yesterday, which was February 19th. So I got it in two days. I paid $15.95 and it says it's a 16 by 20. So that's like what? Wow, 40 by 45, something like that. Because it does not actually say it in centimeters, it says it in inches. So I'm excited to get this open. Um, it, the company is called Cotart, K-O-T-A-R-T, Co, Co, maybe it's Cotart, but their logo is cool even. Okay, so it has a sticker here, and I have no fingernails. They'll hopefully grow back once I uh, stop having to do some of the um, pin work. Okay. Get it off. I don't want to rip the pretty cover on this. And of course there's one on the other side too. Yeah. I would have had it already taken off, but I wanted to open it all the way with you guys. There we go. All right. Let's see. You can see what's inside before I do. Well, it advertises that they roll them. This is a little disappointing because I figured it would be rolled on the inside of the canvas. Instead, it's in a bag and it's actually pretty long, so it got kind of squished. But we will reserve our judgments until we pull it out. Oh, here's the chart. And this is what it looks like. So they it looks like they do use DMC colors, yep. This is pretty wrinkled, but so that's all it is. It's pretty basic. It's got your image, which is that's what the image is. And then it's got you know, so this has 25 colors and they're very basic symbols. All letters. Well, wait, I see one number, the number four in there with all those letters. And they, and yeah, those are DMC numbers. So no three tens, um, but it doesn't say how many of each number you need. So that's not really an inventory. It's just basically a key. So that's a key. All right, let's pull this out. They, they're supposed to give you a lot of tools with this. So let's see. Well, that was a really tight fit, but that's a really nice tube. All right. Oh, I can already tell this canvas isn't like your normal ones, but it's in a plastic bag here, which I'm going to rip open. I'm not trying to stick my fingers in there. 
All right, the canvas seems really thick. Can you hear that? It doesn't feel plasticky at all. It does have a clear cover. Oh, this thing is huge. So it's wrinkled on the edges from being in there. Wow. Okay, so it still only says it in inches. This is really big. I think this is a 30 by 40 though. Uh, yeah, well 12, 12 centimeters is, I mean 30 centimeters is 12 inches. And this is 16 by 20, so huh, I can't calculate. Let's see, another four inches would be uh, almost 10 more centimeters. So yeah, a 40 by, Fifty-five. Let's just get the measuring tape. Because I think their numbers are counting from edge to edge. Because, yeah, that's um, almost exactly 40 centimeters wide. And from edge to edge. That is a little over 47 centimeters no, wait, all the way to the end? Yeah, almost 50. So the 16 by 20 is a 40 by 50, but that is canvas size, not the image size. The image is... Um, almost 45. So it's the 44.7 by... right at 35 centimeters. So 35 by 45. That's still really big. Um, it's a bit wrinkled, uh, but you know, that those will come out. I'm gonna check the glue because I've never ordered from this company. And that's some, that's, you know, sticky's decent. I hate feeling these wrinkles though. Even though it doesn't affect the glue at all, I just, I like my, when it's a uh, clear canvas like this, I like it to be completely wrinkle free and just, I love the feel of the canvas when there's no wrinkles on it. Okay, so I'm not going to fret over this right now. Let's see here. This image looks really good compared to the, the photo. I mean, th that's the photo right there. Um, again, ah, can't get it in there. That's about as far up as I can show you. I'll show you the thumbnail. Oh wait, I can show you back on the picture here. So look at this image. And we'll, we'll look at the colors to see how well it, it kind of resembles this, but they're very light colors. Uh, the this um, looks like it's a bright pink on the canvas itself, so we'll see. I do love the um, purples, and you know I like unicorns, and I won't get every unicorn painting there is out there. It actually has to catch my eye, and the actual painting caught my eye before the packaging caught my eye. But I don't think that um, them putting it in a tube did any kind of um, justice for it at all because it was still kind of it was kind of folded around everything else that was in there well let's take a look at what else came in here okay it says usa on here um thanks for your purchase the item has been sent with care we hope you are satisfied um we're looking forward to your review we are responsible and honest sellers, so if you're unhappy or have any concerns, don't hesitate to contact us. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to actually assume it was made in the USA just because it says USA on this postcard. Well, 
cart. I mean, they put two of them in here. It uh, actually says assembled in China, year 2018. Um, this company says uh, Cotarts in San Dimas, California. So that, I mean, that doesn't mean anything because it's assembled in uh, China because Diamond Art Club also has uh, their stuff assembled in China as well as some of it um, done here in the USA, but they are a USA company. All right, so this is just your instruction page, your the basics that we all know how to do. Um, that's all that is. So there's nothing stating still how many, how much diamonds are supposed to be for each color. All right, here's the tool toolkit. It actually has quite a bit. It has four single tips, and it has a nine placer, a six placer, and a three placer, along with some metal tweezers, um, the red lined bags, a big thing of wax, and two green trays. I couldn't think of the color for a minute there. So it's your basic tool set but it's got a lot of the it's got all the tips possible well for that type of tip um let's look at the dip the drills so well let me open it they look like they're linked together this is a round and there are there are no training wheels on these square they're all they're squares first i thought it was a square because of the canvas but I would have liked to see the circles around there, around the symbols. Okay, this canvas does have a serial number, which is LY011, and that is what's on here, LY011. So, the bags don't have the DMC numbers, but like I said, they are here on the key, which is nice that they have a key at the top here and a key at the bottom right. Yeah, so I'm going to try and start at the beginning. There's 25 colors and that's 25, so we hit the end. There we go. All right, this is really weird. They went from right to left. Never see that. <laughs> All right, so here's the, some of the colors. Let me see if I can tilt this light up so you can see them better. All right, there we go. There's the purple, then uh, dark blue, and a gray, and a teal. And there's that pink. So it, it well, it's one of the pinks, and it's a darker pink. And we got a little bit of green, some orange, a yellow, like a royal blue color. And it looks like, no, those are two different colors. Another royal blue here. Yeah, you can see it through the camera better that those are two different colors. And like a periwinkle right here. This is getting lighter, so it's kind of going by color scheme. And this is a bunch of gray. And those are all the same color. That's the A13 color. Oh boy, that hurts the shoulders. And then we move on to, oh yeah, that's right. It starts on the right hand side. There's 14, it's another dark color, which is um, 820. See, that's a different shade of 820 that I've seen other times. And then this 15 is 823. And then we have 891. See that red? And 894. See, this is a little more of a bright pink. And then, oh, what's this one? 30. No, this one's 995. Uh, this is one of my favorites right here. And then that's 996 right there. And then this is the muted pink that I think I was looking at. No, I. this is actually um, 
the letter C. So it's mixed in here. But a lot of this, this is that um, A, which is uh, that first pink we saw. Which is kind of a salmon color. But it's also got, uh, it's got all three pinks in here because it's got um, K, which is, yeah, this bright pink. So it's mixed in there. All of those colors are in here, but I thought that it would look more, that's supposed to be where the darkest pink area is. And then the hairs are outlined in it. And you can kind of see how there's pink throughout. Okay, let me show you the, the last few colors. And got another blue and oh yeah, there is a very beautiful purple. That purple is 3837. It kind of looks like 550 though, doesn't it? Really pretty. And then there's another really pretty blue 3844. And then we got 3846 here. And then four, five bags of 5200. So lots of white in this, which, you know, makes sense. You can see big blocks of white up in here, down in here, up in the face, and all around. I really, I really think this is pretty. And, you know, looking at it, it just makes me want to start on it and do it. But I'm working on something else right now. So, <laughs> I have to finish that. And I have, like, so many other things on my plate to do next that... I just wish I just wish I could do them all at one time, you know. I want to do them all. I do want to do them all. That's why I bought them. But um, I'll get to it someday. It's really pretty. And so that's this new company, Cotart. Um, what do you think of the tube? I mean, do you think that it helped preserve this canvas any? I mean, being that it was so long, I personally think that they should have had it in a little larger of a tube, um, a little wider in girth and circumference would have made it so that it wasn't squished in there because once you get the bags in the middle of it, it you know had to be kind of almost folded to squish it in there. Plus it being as long as it was, it was sticking out the top and, um, with this being broken, this piece, it may have gotten squished somehow or damaged um, in the factory because, like I said, it was in an Amazon box. It, um, but this is obviously it looks like it's been dropped, and that's what happened. Yeah, there's a kind of a dent right here on the side, right there. So I think somebody had dropped this and caused that lid to pop. So. I could probably just stick it back in there. I'm just not sure how the, the top of it got um, pretty wrinkled like that. I, I don't think it, I, you would think that it with it being in a tube like this, it wouldn't, um, wouldn't have been wrinkled at all. But it is what it is. And this tube will come in handy. I'm not gonna put the painting back in it, but it's, that's a nice storage container. It's actually really thick and I wanted to compare it to my Ever Moment tube that I have, but I don't think I, I thought I kept, yeah, I did keep it. I don't know where it is. It was a small one I had ordered from them. So it's probably buried with my other boxes, but I will keep it and I don't know what I'll store in it, but I'll find something. All right, guys. So let me get a question of the day for you. Okay, this question is, how often do you get sick? For me, um, I get sick maybe once a year. And I've already, well, this year hasn't, I haven't been sick. But you, got, you all got to um, witness when I did get sick this year, uh, or last year. I've had my channel since May, so... 
that's um, nine months now that I've had this channel. I've been this sick just that one time. So, uh, and, and it's amazing I don't get sick more because of all the germs Tesla brings home. And because she, she's 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 just getting over being sick again. She's still got a bad cough but it's not as bad as the last few nights and we've been being aggressive with her inhalers and everything. But for me, I think one of the reasons why I don't get sick very often is because I take vitamins. I take a multivitamin. Well, actually I take two multivitamins every morning, every day. I don't miss a single day because, um, I have, because of my pain medications, I take them twice a day in the morning and at night. So all my vitamin, my multivitamins are, in with my morning meds and um, at night oh, and I also take vitamin D with my morning meds and once a week I take my vitamin B12 at night I take calcium citrate and yeah that's all the vitamins I take which I think is plenty because um, I had to start taking the multivitamins when I had my surgery because of the fact that my stomach was reduced in size so I don't absorb nutrition from food as well as somebody with a regular sized stomach so I have to take the multivitamins to accommodate for what my stomach can't pull out of my food and it was good because um, I was on them already when I got pregnant with Tesla and I my doctor said that's perfectly fine because I was also taking calcium um, for because my multivitamins have iron in them and everything too. So I, I was already pre, I was taking them as a prenatal before I even got pregnant, which is what most doctors recommend is that you take prenatals before you get pregnant when you're trying to anyway, um, so that your body is prepared for the changes. And so because I was taking them before I got pregnant, you know, it put me into a, you know, prenatal state of body <laughs> so yeah um there were a lot of uh, ups and downs during the pregnancy thinking we would lose her a couple times and and then with her being born early but still um i was as healthy as could be during that pregnancy i was um you know and then afterwards i just you know just continue taking them and i have to take two like i said because yeah, I don't absorb, nor absorb nutri nutrients, but I think all those vitamins have helped me from getting sick. So um, that's my story, and I'm sticking with it because I don't know what else it could be because, um, yeah, it, it's only been like that for the last, you know, almost almost a decade. So it's about around, about around the time I started taking the vitamins. So I kind of had to just guess that that's what it was. So if you want to tell me the answer to the question of the day, um, just leave your answer down below in the comment section and you know the drill. Hit that like button on your way down and I will see you guys in my next video. Have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. I'll see you guys later. Bye.